Well, YouTubers, there's my uh, my Mako M104C finally together. A little here, a little there, over uh, over quite a bit of time, and finally got it finished. Uh, I bought this brand new. I'm going to use this for vertical for Citizens Band. And yes, I have steel mass, and yeah, I know about the, the coupling and the distortion of the radiate irradiation pattern and so forth I just have to live with it you know I know steel mast is not good for vertical yaggies but it's what I've got so that's what I got to go with I taped that's electrical tape on all the joints and then I silicone over them of course I haven't done the gamma yet because uh, it's not tuned uh, someday I'll get the tower broke over and uh, mount it and then uh, tune it vertical Definitely will tune it vertical because uh, uh, if you follow uh, the Mako's wisdom and what some others say and try to tune, if you're going to use steel mast and you flip this thing horizontal and tune it and flip it vertical, guarantee it ain't tuned right. Now we're in the ballpark. I've, I've experimented with that with a Mako 3 element one time. That steel mast just changes everything once you add that in line with, uh, with your... Uh, with your half wave dipole elements. But, kind of looks ugly, I guess, with my tape and silicone job. <laughs> I know some people don't seal them, others do. This is kind of what I always do. Kind of weatherproof them and cuts down on the vibrating, you know, pieces loose. So, well, not the ends, but at least wise those, those clamps. And uh, I tried a different system that I'd never done before. I put them up on, uh, I put the boom together and put the boom bracket on. I put it up on these uh, jack stands. And uh, I, I had a level attached to the bottom of this, uh, of the boom bracket. And I always made sure it was level. And then I leveled, when I put the elements together, I only put the, uh, the muffler clamps and uh, the saddle clamps with the uh, 5 8 piece of tubing only. I didn't put the elements totally together. I just put the 5 8 piece, made sure that the, the bracket was always level, then I leveled these and then of course, you know, kept flip-flopping, double and triple checking and so forth. Hopefully, it should be straight. It looks straight. I know you can't tell in the video, but I've never really done it that way before I got one of our old banquet tables out and set it up on our concrete pad that probably should have a picnic table on it, but we don't have a picnic table and we don't eat outside, so <laughs> I guess it's the once in a great, great while antenna assembly station now. Anyways, there it is, 73s everybody.